what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so today is indeed wednesday which means the new summit is now live and for this week guys we have the video game classics and i would say a lot of players are most likely going to like this one the only issue here is you are going after a cartoon bang nitro which i would actually say might look pretty cool but it is obviously not going to be a car that is next week can't wait to do this summit. That thing is probably going to be insane. And looking at this one, if you guys are wondering, we have a street tier 2 a racing. After that, we have a power boat, which we have not seen that many or if not any power boat events. So that's awesome. And we're also going to see a plane event. Wow, they're mixing it up. I can't believe it. And then after that, though, we also have another plane event and we also have another power boat race. So it's probably going to be a pretty interesting summit. All three of the skills are also going to be bullseyes. Some are probably going to be on the ground and also mixed in water and air. Man, I sound like Avatar. Weird. But nonetheless, guys, it looks like this summit is going to mirror some of the old summits in the Crew 2. To where you're probably going to have to use some odd vehicles to go after a vehicle that makes no sense in it. And I also have to admit, a lot of players are most likely going to be going after this car. So definitely be ready for that one, guys. It's probably going to be pretty intense. But nonetheless, for this week's summit, we are going to have six different events. Two of them are going to be Street Tier 1, then we also have two Motocross events. And then after that, guys, two Street Tier 2, so I do like the mix-up. It's not going to be the exact same class through the entire thing. And then we also have a Low Altitude, a Slalom, and one of the Escapes. And then similar to my old Summit videos, I also did end up doing all six of the main events in the Cockpit View. Which I have to admit, running the Cockpit View on a Motocross bike is so much dang fun. I would actually recommend trying it if you guys haven't. Nonetheless though, the first one here is going to be an escape, so for this, you guys guessed it, a hypercar. Can't really run anything else but like a boat if you see some of the top people in the leaderboards. I would recommend running a hypercar, it's probably going to be a bit easier. For me though, I did end up running the Countach, you'll probably see the lovely Bugatti because, um, you know, that car is incredible. But I would recommend trying out a hypercar, even if you guys think it might not end up being a good one. And then the biggest thing for the escape is probably going to come down to the annoying traffic, basically spawning everywhere. And then for the next skill is going to be a slalom. So for this, I did end up jumping on a motocross bike. Now you could use any vehicle on this. The big thing here is probably having a score breaker, but keep in mind though, it is going to be fully off-road on this one. So you're probably going to want some type of like off-road vehicle, even though you could run something like a hyper or something, but... Keep in mind here, guys, for some odd reason, no matter what you have, like 19 to 21,000 is going to be pretty much the exact same score throughout the entire thing. And then for the final skill here is going to be a low altitude. Now, I would say a lot of the low altitude skills are honestly going to be some of the easiest ones in the game. Now, the reason why I do say that is this one was actually in the last week's summit. At least I think it was. Honestly, many of the skills keep overlapping. So I'm like, wait a minute, did I just do this one? And I probably did, but for this, guys, all you have to have is a score breaker set, and you can pretty much get almost a maxed out score fairly easily. And then for the first event here, you are going to be lonely. Lovely Marco's Cab, which, by the way, is not a terrible car. And on top of that, you also have to do the Porsche E Express mission, or like the Porsche E Express, something like that. But regardless, though, this mission is going to have some cuts in it, which this car can do it. But there is going to be one issue with that though, the car is going to have like a damage bar, so like you have to be careful on where you cut and going through certain areas of the grass damage it. So do be a little careful on the stuff that you hit like cars and like poles and stuff like that. So yes, you can obviously cut in certain places, but do be careful because going through certain pieces of grass is going to bring the bar down pretty dang quick. And then for the next event though, you can actually pick more than just the Cadillac. So I did end up picking the lovely Chrysler 300 SRT8. And don't get me wrong, it is probably going to be a limousine. So you're probably like, wait a second, a limousine's better than the Marcos cab? The reason why I do like it is this thing is going to be a V8. But it's also going to be a bit easier to shift in manual. Funnily enough guys, on this event, all you have to do is start off, head toward the highway, go all the way toward the end of the event, and that's pretty much it. And then for the next event, though, is going to be a motocross race. I have to admit, a lot of players probably aren't going to like it. For some odd reason, I had a great time in this event and the other one. Also, running first-person mode not only helps out, like, visibility, but I feel like in some ways it might be a bit easier to go around the corners. And on top of that, though, one thing I did also notice, guys, is I would recommend having a ventilated perk or at least having a Nitro Chemist build with ventilated. And also having the Driver Legend points on it does help tremendously 
and both of the motocross events. And then for the second motocross event though, you also get to use the lovely Yamaha YZ450F, which I have to say is actually a pretty decent bike. Is it going to be the best motocross bike? Well, I probably have to test them. Haven't really driven them that much, or I guess you could say ridden. Nonetheless though, it is going to be the outdoor racing track, so it is going to be a pretty fun event. Overall though guys, the biggest tip I can give here is for one, get away from the AI and make sure you get around those corners as quick as possible. And luckily having the ventilated perk as I did mention before, does help so much in these events. And then for the next two events though, you are going to have to run the lovely 512TR. Now this Ferrari is going to be a pretty decent tier 2 vehicle, and I would say it's probably going to be a pretty fair car for the most part. For this event though, I would say the first one here is definitely going to be pretty straightforward. I would almost guess there is going to be some type of like cuts here, but I was like, you know what? Let's just do the event normally and see how I can do. So I got 112k. I could probably jump back in and do a bit better in certain corners. But I was like, you know what? Let's just keep the score I have and see how it does end up doing with like the overall score. So far guys, 2 minutes and 52 seconds is pretty decent. And then for the final event here in the summit, guys, the only issue with this one is you pretty much have to cut in certain areas to get a decent score in it. Like I actually did a few runs without cutting and I was like, you know what? You could probably get a good score and probably do good in the summit with the score that you have, but you were probably going to do a bit better, obviously, cutting in certain areas. And this is going to be the event you can basically cut the entire mountain. And what's kind of funny about this, though, is there is now going to be another yellow wall in the second checkpoint. All you will then have to do is stay in the grass and stay closer to the wall. That way you can actually grab the checkpoint and then boom, head all the way down to the road, skipping the entire mountain and entire like S-turn area. So it is going to be kind of unfortunate. I also saved around 16 seconds in first person mode. Could not see anything on the mountain either, guys, basically driving through it. I really did feel like I was actually in Jurassic Park. Overall, though, I do feel like a lot of players are going to like the summit. I had a great time for the most part in this one, guys, and oddly enough, I had some of the greatest fun in the motocross events compared to the other ones.